Good day from WA. Hi, this is Julie. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my flower garden. <laughs> I had so much fun with these. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with them, <laughs> but eventually I'll find something. I'm sure they can be used for decorating pages, tag, journal cards, art journal pages, collages, basically anywhere where we use paper and book pages, we can use our flowers. It's not meant to be, you know, a major artwork. <laughs> I used all different kinds of mediums. So what do you want to use for colour? Well, of course, obviously, you could use paints. And I did use watercolour paints for a lot of those. I bet you can't tell the difference between which ones were painted and which ones were coloured pencils. A watercolour colour it pen, uh, tomboy pens and sharpies. So have a look and see if you can guess which ones were which. Now, I think I was just playing with their colour and testing it out and that one is Tombow pens. I did write on the back of some of them, all the yellow ones are written on so that we know what they were, what I used. So this one, watercolour pencils. Now this one, this one was also one I did today in coloured pencils and I just kept adding coloured pencils and I'd already drawn the black lines and some of the black lines, they're not waterproof, they, they leak. And then I wanted to and activate it so I just sprayed it. By not using a brush, it didn't activate the um, black ink too much. So, and then I went over it with, with a white uh, a white jelly roll pen. Um, so that was coloured pencils. And then what's this one? Uh, watercolour paints and microns, microns and brush pen. So these ones I just used, I just made the petals with yellow flowers and then I added some orange paint. And there we go, that was sort of done. And this one, I used Tombow pens, so your Tombow pens, and they just they look the same as the painted flowers. Uh, well, there's one more yellow one here, Sharpie and Bic, so yeah, and I used a bit of the gold. But really, can you tell which one was paint and which one was marker? Not really. <laughs> if you only had watercolour pencils and you, and you didn't have any paints, you really can't tell the difference, can you? So, therefore, what I'm saying by all that is... We all have something of colour that we can use in our stash, whether it's ordinary pencils, watercolour pencils, Tombows, Sharpies or paint. Let's make a space, divide them up, push them to the side. I like having them, that they're, they're quite, it's quite, um, uh, I enjoy having all these here, you know what I mean? I, 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 I like the mass make aspect of it. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. <laughs> I started trying to make them smaller, you see, some of them got really big. But you know how a lot of our stickers are small? If you have got too many small things and you want some big things to decorate page corners or um, pockets, um, large tags, large journal cards, well, this is a way to get large um, flowers. I mean, you could also then, you know, you can add stickles, glossy accents, I don't know, all sorts of, um, you could emboss over the top, you could, all sorts of things over the top to give it a slightly different look. What shall we start with? I quite like this one. Shape's a bit strange, but it's really cute, isn't it? Shall we just do that one? That's Tombow. We're going to start with this shape flower, or this, this flower, and then the next one we do will change the shape so that you basically can see the different flowers that I just made up. Can some of them are better than others and <laughs> some are not so good but when you add the marker and you cut them out I think it turns them into a usable proposition and if you ruin one or it doesn't look any good here's one this was done with paint let's just do this first let me show you purple one so it's a bit dark it's, it's okay but I just find it a bit dark I've got all black in the middle on a page I think that would look a bit heavy yay white jelly roll <laughs> Uh, we're going to add some jelly roll highlights um yeah this one's the paint's quite thick on this so this might there we go now there's nothing fancy about this and it really is very um childlike and easy and i'm all about easy easy and accessible you know for everyone who's um you know, wanting to have a go with this doodle challenge. Did I tell you about the doodle challenge yet? 
<laughs> That's why we're doing this. Uh, the 16th of March, we are doing a doodle challenge. Lee from Lee's Art Studio and myself are collaborating to create or to start the um, the doodle challenge. And it's an open collaboration, which means that it's open to any channel who wants to join us. They can make a video and do the doodle challenge. The only prompt for this month for the March prompt is green background. That's what we're doing this month. It's going to we're going to add in other prompts to the challenge. So yeah, the paint's a little bit thick, so I bought a new one. I bought this. I haven't used it yet. It's a Posca pen. I haven't talked about Posca pens because I don't often use them because the ones I've got are quite thick. Yeah, I've got this white Posca pen, but I've got the really big nib, so it doesn't really... I can't use it for this. And I bought this white paint marker, same thing. That's even bigger, so I don't really use them for small things. The thing about the Posca pens, first of all, you have to shake them up it's, it's like paint inside and then you've got to try and get the paint to flow out of the nib at the end here we go it's taken a little while um, so now I've got paint so let's see how that goes let's just continue on this one and just put some oh well, this is not quite nice so for the more opaque circles your Posca pen might be the go and so this thin one is quite nice because it gives you more uh, or fine circles or dots okay and then let's have a look and see how that works once it's flowing it works quite well okay well I quite like that so mum and I went out to the um, stationery shop the other day to get mum some and that's one of the reasons that made me think about this because mum was saying Oh, I don't have any paints so I brought her some paints I've actually got her some brushes as well to take down that I just got from a hardware store Bunnings um, they're just nice and small uh, and then I was thinking oh she hasn't got any paper and I was thinking what can people use if they don't have watercolor paper book pages a lot of us have lots of book pages. Now you see how that was really dark? I think that's come back to life now. I think the white is also, you know, a good idea if you can afford to get the Poscas. They're not always cheap. Yeah, the Posca paint's quite good for this um, for this part of it. No doubt about it. If you want to add some white highlights. All right, so these are those flowers. Yeah, and that one, again, I had done purple marker, so I just did some white over it. And doing the white over that dark purple <laughs> turns it into lilac, and I quite liked it in the end. That was quite nice. It didn't stay white. So there you go. There's all the purple ones. Now, what were we doing? We're going to do some pink ones. All right, so we're going to start with the um, combo pens. So I've just got a pale pink and a darker pink. So we're just going to start with the paler pink, and all I do is you just draw you just draw flower petals, just like you would if you were a kid. Um, you can make them longer and thinner. You can make them fatter. Sort of, they are a real flower. They're sort of dahlias. Now, then I also kind of like make a circle, so that you know where you're coming from, because you you want all your petals to come from the center. So you know, there's nothing easier than this, is there? And you can adjust the shape with your black marker because and then you can cut it out wherever you like so all right so then we just use that was the pale was it's quite a dark pale pink isn't it i think i've got a paler one yeah there's this one this one is paler um yeah okay all right so this one's gonna be a very bright pink so then we just add some darker color in the middle of this one just to give it a bit of highlight and you can do whatever pattern you like. I mean, you don't have to copy this. This is just me doing something really simple and really easy that anyone can do. And then in the middle, you could do um, yellow to sort of, uh, well, it's now mixed it with the pink. And because these Tombows mix, we've now got a kind of orange center, which is perfect. You do need to let it dry a little bit before you start with the, the, the black. But we're now we're just gonna do our, um, stem come from the center Dude. I mean honestly this is these are childlike flowers are they not 
anyone can do these this is what I mean about this being super beginners but when you've made them all and cut them out they don't look so childish I mean that is you know maybe what an eight-year-old I won't say a five-year-old because I think don't think a five-year-old could, could have the motor control but we'll say an eight-year-old might be able to draw that so we're at eight-year-old standard so far <laughs> all right and a little, little bit of darker green I'm just going to uh, now with Tombow of course you've got the other end as well so I'm going to, going to go down there and just give it some other lines and some shading that's a basic basic flower is it not very basic all right, well, now we're going to use the Tombow marker, which I didn't even know I had. I don't think I've ever used it. Okay, so the other thing, I, what I do about the flowers, I think that makes them a little bit more appealing is to have thick and thin lines. Now, you can be more arty about it, or you can be very consistent. So I just choose to do thick, and I'm, not going, I'm just going to go around and do all the thick to start with in this case so do I do some from the center and some not so that there is some variety in how it's done all right so thick ones and I think because that is a really thick brush we're going to go with the thin okay and then we can just go down down and you can be more arty about it I'm not saying that this is an artistic way of doing it it is just accessible for everyone for beginners I just noticed that a lot of people are saying not a lot but some people are saying oh I'm not very good at doodles I can't paint um, not very artistic my flowers look like kids flowers yes yeah, so do mine <laughs> doesn't matter so just go around create our centerpiece you can do more or less it's fairly okay it's not too bad now I've done it both thin so what you can do is draw all your thin lines and then add your thicker lines later I still like to have the thicker lines. I mean, those like thicker lines are probably a bit too thick. This Tombow is quite thick. But I don't know. I just think it looks a little bit more arty to have um, thick and thin lines. And then I like to add the thin, the, the, these lines. I think these just finish it off. And it's very stereotyped. Just try to always come from the middle and finish with a thinner point and just go with the shape of the um, petal so that you're, in, you know, I don't know, going with the curve. And then it'll look a little bit like it's fairly natural. <laughs> I mean, you know, these look like real flowers, don't they? <laughs> I feel that they look better cut out personally so I'm going to be back after I've cut it out okay so there we have a pink one it's very bright <laughs> it's almost fluoro so I'm not too sure where I could use that however um, I do think they look better cut out uh, this one I actually cut a little bit closer I didn't leave the white border around the um, flowers because the marker was way too thick so um, again let's uh, improve that a little bit we'll use the uh, Posca pen and we'll just give it some highlights just to sort of take away some of that thick and it will reduce some of that pink the lollipop pink that we've got happening there it's a very very basic simple design that anyone can do you can create some flowers so that's all that's these flowers all these dahlias <laughs> oh, no, I don't have names for all of them <laughs> there's some possibly rose shapes 
some dahlias, and I've made a new flower. It's a cross between a tulip and a carnation. So that was Tombow's that we've done. Cool. All right, let's just move those up out of the way. Okay, which one should we do next? Let's do these tulipy things. Uh, one of them has got them joined together. Did they come apart? One of them had two. Yeah, this one. I like this one. This one's cute. It's got two flowers. Couldn't cut them apart because it was the joined. <laughs> so I like that one. I'm going to try to recreate that one in a different colour. Okay. Uh, these were paint. So we're going to try and emulate that one with... That's quite dark. We're going to try it with that one, with the two, um, the two pinks. And what I want to try and do is create these strange sort of tulipy things. Tulip uh, come carnations. <laughs> I'm just going to give it a little bit more of a round shape. And a wiggly top. Okay, and we're going to have a smaller one here. Okay, and then add the pink to it. Just some kind of shading. A bit like that. It's not going to look. So there's the two flowers that are eh, similar-ish, not quite. And now a little bit of uh, green on the bright side. So I don't have the right green for those. So I'm going to use uh, Tombow for for these, which hopefully that's a bit similar to that paint. Yeah, a little bit different. Trying to do the leaves a little bit different because th um, you know, they're sort of, I don't know if they're tulipy or not, <laughs> not really. And all we want to do is kind of like make it wriggly. I like that wriggly color, um, shape. Okay, well, let's try the thicker Sharpie. Maybe yeah, that'll work. And so if you've got, you know, difference in shades, you can just use that as your point of reference. I have to go over these now. It's a little weird otherwise. I kind of want it thinner. Okay. And just wiggle around that. Go down one side. So when you put the lines around it, it makes it look like it's appear like it was meant to be like that. Whereas the, the colour on its own doesn't really look right does it you know it's not easy to make it look like a like you meant it to be like that so you're just following the miscellaneous lines so when you cut it out you can cut it out um, cut some of that green off so mm, did we did we make it as far as um, looking like those mm, sort of but not really all right I'm going to cut these out and I'll be back so we've got pink and orange it's not quite the same as that but it's um, similar ish that one I've added white to it um, so there you go there's the wiggly flowers I've done all of those okay uh, shall we try the rosy type ones these I find the hardest in this method I can do these better on white paper I don't know why <laughs> These, they're just getting, getting huge. Uh, they're all done with paint, I think. So let's try and do uh, purple roses to start with. Um, 
All right, let's try just putting a purple flower. So with roses, you just start from the middle. And the idea is to start with a little bit darker in the center. So you just start with a blob. Anyway, we've drawn it together now, it doesn't matter. And then you just go around the outside. Okay, and then you just go around the outside of that. And then outside of that. Adding, adding a bit of water now. Maybe changing the colour. And now we've got a rose. Very, very, very basic rose. Join them up a little bit. Fill in some of those gaps. Add some shading a little bit. As I say, you can keep going forever <laughs> with these. Now I go a little bit further out, and you can, you can, then you can, you know, use your pen to decide how far out you go. All right, so we've got a purple rose. Do you get purple roses? I suppose you do. Let's try to make it a little bit more pink. Let's add some white to it. Oh, that's nice. Now we want to add a bit of pink over here. But we want to make it a bit darker. Let's put a bit, bit of red. It'll be a little bit more opaque. All right, let's try it over here. Again, you just want a small one, two small ones. Okay, that's the middle of the rose. <laughs> and then we just go out. And just keep going around. Change the color a bit. And you just get a bit bigger as you get as you get out and then join them up a little bit and you can see why it's just you end up getting bigger and bigger it's not really the center is it okay my smaller rows ended up being bigger and now in the middle i'm going to add some See, I end up with really big roses. <laughs> it's really hard for me to go small. All right, that's the flower part. Now the uh, green part. I just mix these two greens. Just a little bit of this olive green. Tiny bit of the white. And a tiny bit of the red. Just tones down that greeny green color. And we just want to branch it's a little bit too greeny green isn't it for a rose okay and we want a bit more greeny green for the leaves try and make it a little bit fatter for the the rose aspect if you're having them as roses all right so this one's meh, you know the leaves are no good but we're going to change that let's fix it so we're going to try to do similar to what we did with this so i want to just highlight some of the underneath parts of the flower with some c's trying to vary where they are so that it's not too symmetrical can't really see it myself in the light Okay, and then the same with this one. Okay, now we're going to go down the stem and create our leaves where we kind of like them. 
And if you don't like the leaves, you can always cut them off and give it new leaves. <laughs> so there's always that option. All right, now we're going to go with the thinner pen and um, join up some of these, join up some of these flowers, the uh, petal, yeah, rose petals. So you just want to wiggle, really. Give it the crinkly look because the you know it's hard to get the crinkly look with the paint. Try and join it up to somewhere that's sort of logical. <laughs> and I don't know if you, you know again, it's probably not doodling. It's just the way I like. I like to doodle. I haven't really got into doodling. You know, kind of whimsical. I should try that, shouldn't I? Next time I'll try to do whimsical doodles. Because at the moment, really, I kind of like just doing realistic. <laughs> That's what I like doing. Um, I mean, it's not realistic, but you know what I mean. A flower that looks like a flower I can recognize. Now we cut them out. There we are. I changed the shape of those leaves. So now we have, I mean, you can just do the flowers and... That can, you know, you can create a kind of um, collage with all your different blooms and um, do it that way. I didn't even know that it didn't, they didn't there's so many leaves already. Now we've got a collection of flowers. <laughs> I mean, you could put them on the page, glue them on the page and you, and, and you wouldn't know that you hadn't um, painted them all. I mean, that's what I like about it too, is you could just stick them on and create a little bouquet <laughs> and you could do it with all the different flowers or you could do it with all the same types so that's your rose type flower the only one left is this one um i haven't had too much success with them yet now these are all oh, right yeah so these ones are a bit different they were painted they were i did the ink the pen first and then the ink which didn't really work because the pens that i've got are not waterproof so you really need waterproof ink but I did see in my drawer. Let's just see if we can play with that. All right. All right. So I've got this ink I've had for a very long time. I think maybe 30 years <laughs> while I was doing calligraphy. Um, all right. Let's just see if I can. Oh, is there any ink? Oh, it's in the bottom there. Okay. So the idea of this is, is that you create random flowers, some thick lines and some thin. Let's see if we can do it. I'm going to start with the middle. Oh, it's quite thick. Okay. So this doesn't make thin lines. Okay. I'd have to get used to my ink, I think. On the pens. Okay. That's quite fun with the ink, I have to say. Let's see if we can make this into a, a flower. Okay. <laughs> Let that dry. Let's do another one. Um, okay. I'm going to start with the centre again. We're going to do a slightly different shape. Do it round. We're going to do those kind of similar shapes to what we had before. But... Still turning out to be huge, aren't they? I don't do small, apparently. <laughs> but what I want, all I'm doing testing with this is whether or not I can add colour without, um, you know, making it bleed. So if you've got some ink, in calligraphy pens or fountain pens you can also you can draw your flower out first however you want it to be not sure that that looks very flower like but okay i'm trying to just you know give it some dark areas it smells funny i have to say all right so now i might uh go to a it's a little bit thinner. Maybe we'll use that one for the next flower. Just going to put some thinner ones in. Okay. 
the things you've got to have the right angle otherwise the pen doesn't work all right we've got some uh this might be uh fun using the, this ink if you can add the watercolor after okay uh just before i do that i'm just going to add some thicker lines here and there just to sort of change the weight of the lines It's a bit Halloween, isn't it? But I just want to test how that works with. Um, you know, let's see how that ink goes with watercolor paint. See if I can paint over the top. What does it say? Permanent black ink. I'm going to use a smallish brush because I want to have more variation of color. That's quite a small brush, so we'll use that one. All right, so we're going to have some green. We'll practice on the green first. Oh no. Uh, mm. That's no good, is it? Permanent, but not waterproof. They are a lot um, darker. <laughs> so we're just going to add some white. Let's glue that together. All right, um, so there are two more roses. Mm, I like that one better. So there are the roses that we've done. At least some of them are a little bit smaller. Might be able to actually use them. Let's see if we can make a bouquet, shall we? We've got this as our background paper. Let's make a flower arrangement. Picking out just some of my favourites. Become a florist. <laughs> Making your arrangement. I like that purple one. I haven't done any more of those, but that one's so easy. All you do is paint petals, basic petals, round, 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 and then just doodle all the way around, and then add the white. Um, yeah. It's so easy. Okay. Yeah. Let's have another one of those. I like this one. Yeah. Yeah. You can also paint the whole pile of leaves, and uh, just just paint a whole pile of. Where's my little circle flowers? Paint a whole pile of um, flower tops without the leaves, and then add the leaves in after. Like these. You know, just paint a whole pile of those, and then you can just add those blooms, all the blooms wherever you want. You haven't got the leaves to sort of mess around with. Need another purple. That's all. This is a nice one. Let's try this. Maybe have that. I don't like that one. I mean, if you'd painted all these onto a watercolor paper, you wouldn't be able to do this, would you? You wouldn't be able to make it how you want it. You could. You could um, spend forever organizing your flower arrangement. I tell you, <laughs> isn't it fun? That's a nice, cute little one down there. What a gorgeous bunch of flowers. But you get a lot of variety in colours and shapes. And you've got a doodled bunch of flowers. <laughs> All right, I think that's it for me. Uh, watch out for Lee. Lee told me she's doing a video, a doodle video. So that should be either out or due out anytime soon. But we're just doing, just giving you ideas, uh, encouraging you to just, you know, get out your pens, your pencils, textures, light, fine liners, sharpies, or paints. Um, and then you can use painty backgrounds, scrapbook paper, digital paper, whatever you like as your background. But I could have done that for the challenge. Cute. <laughs> I like it. Um, okay, so yes, have a look at the all the challenge videos um, that Lee and I have done so far, and the rest of them will be out on the 16th of March, so stay tuned for that. There will be a playlist. Oh, that's another one too. Let's do the bud. We haven't got any buds in there. 
let's have a bud up here there we go just adds a bit of variety now you know there's no way i could have painted that no way in the world but they were just a bunch of simple flowers mm. yeah that's that's think that's everything thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye